let's find that out. Let's define a function f of x, which equals e, the Euler constant, raised to the power of minus one half times x minus mu, this is a mean, divided by sigma, and this is the standard deviation, squared. Now if we plot this function, we will have the following, x minus mu divided by sigma is zero, independently of sigma when x equals mu. So here you have x, f of x, and here at mu, our exponent is zero, and since here's a minus, this is the largest exponent which we can get. So it is e raised to the power of zero, which is one. And so here at mu, we do have the value one. And if we draw the values to the left and right, we will get this typical bell shape. And remember, those values never are zero. And so we have tails that go to plus minus infinity. And there's another important point, which is at x equals mu plus minus sigma, because for those values, x minus mu, here the exponent, divided by sigma squared is one. And this happens here at the inflection point, where the curve goes from a left turn into a right turn, and again here where it goes from a right turn into a left turn. So at those points, x is mu plus minus sigma. And now here's the question, what do you think? So in order for f to be a distribution, the following needs to be fulfilled. The integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of f needs to be 1. Now what do you think? Is this true? 